Hello there, and welcome to RimWorld, episode one. Okay, so, uh, before we start, I want to show you what mod we are running right now, just so you know kind of what, we've mod what mods we're op actually operating. So these are the mods that are currently activated in Alpha 15. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of mods. We have Miscellaneous Core, which is required for the miscellaneous stuff. We have the Hospitality, uh, which allows guest beds and stuff. We have Crafting. Uh, long term crafting tasks, just better stuff basically. Uh, we have some prepare carefully. I'm not going to be using that this time around, but it's there for, for the live stream, so it's just activated ahead of time just in case I don't do anything. Cheaper components, because I personally believe the components are currently a little bit too, too expensive given how much you need them for things. Uh, extended crops for, well, more food types, really. Uh, modular tables, because I complain no end about the fact I can't put a 1x1 one one square table in a, in a prisoner's room. Uh, a solar flare shield, because I think these things are going to be very, very useful. And in late game, I want to be able to put one in, and it, it, the way it works is it draws a massive amount of power to keep it operational when uh, when solar flares hit, so it's something that might be useful to us. Auto seller, a fuse to help stop some of the explosions, we have power switches, colony manager, uh, animal tabs, so we can rename animals after anybody who wants to be an animal rename after themselves. Uh, more floor types, we have Selling a prisoner will not cause guilt anymore because prisoners attack the colony, so why would we feel guilty about selling them? Uh, additional storytellers, I'm going to be playing with one of the uh, one of the additional storytellers. I'll explain that one in a moment too. Repair workbench because I want to, to repair some stuff. Uh, will require CCL when it's updated, but CCL is not currently ready yet, so this is independent of CCL right now. Uh, Muzzy utilities gives us little stat bars, which are great to tell you how close it is to breaking. Realistic darkness is on at the moment. Uh, I want your opinion whether you want that on or off. I think we'll probably turn it off for YouTube or maybe we'll leave it on. I'll leave it entirely up to you guys on that one. But it makes it darker when it's actually dark and torches and lights become a real requirement. Then we've got mods that haven't really updated properly but they still work. Roof supports, that's what they say. More furniture. The mineral scanner which this thing just pop it on the ground and it scans inside mountains for minerals. Doesn't say what it is but it does tell you how much it is and where it is. Uh, the dog said it's an excellent little thing about brain, uh, brain sorry, about surgery on animals. We can replace paws and stuff to get injured, so we can look after our pets better. Extended surgery, power cell for a new type of reactor for, from alien crash ships, making them useful. I've installed batteries stuffed. I like the idea of having batteries that can store more, but they cost more materials, more expensive materials. Uh, extended fabrics, which is a great way to say you can't just make cloth, we can't grow cloth and then make clothing, you have to go to cotton and then process cotton into so it's at extra stages. Uh, arm repair, because I don't see why you can't stick new sheet metal, sheet metal in your armour. Uh, laser drill lets me drill new geothermal vents. It's not going to be a problem, like, it's not going to be like OP, oh you got 50 of these, it's just somehow I want them in there. Moats, embrasures for shooting out of. Closable vents, because why can't you close vents just confuses me sometimes. Auto loader, which I don't know what it'll do in these mods, but I can't remember which I'll, I'll look it up later on. Risk incidents where we send coordinates off to do tasks outside of the game. And, most importantly, just in time to get into this, the series, Miss Robots. The ability to have a cleaning and a hauling bot. Yes. These are amazing. I love these bots. Especially the cleaning bot. That's the mods we're running with. So let's go start a new colony straight out there. There we go. Only took three minutes to get to a new colony. We're going to be playing Lost Tribe because I want to have multiple people, uh, all low tech, and then some of the, a lot of those mods that I just showed you, they're all high tech stuff, so it's going to take a long time to get to them. So this is going to be a long running series potentially. Here we go. Ready? Next. The Storytellers. We have three new Storytellers. We have um, Aptifier Hetzik, who will destroy you ruthlessly. So she basically helps you out, gets you strong. When you're nice and big and strong, she destroys you. We have high grade epic. Uh, basically, uh, her thoughts are full of flames and war. Uh, she will send more big threats, but less incidents. So basically, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, a little bit of food. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mega death swarm. But I'm gonna go with Siren's sadistic. She will send more. Small incidents like oh a one raider, two raider here, um, loads of food, animals, um, fallout, all that kind of stuff. All that's gonna be sent at us, uh, but constantly, not like every second, but more of the smaller, more of the events rather than raids. Because I think raids are okay, but you know, I'm gonna play on rough. We might increase to intense if we get uh, a bit bored, 
but given what the challenge we've got of setting with tribal and building up with all this new tech, I think Ruff will be fine. So our world type will be din 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 Black merch! Black merch it is! So I'm gonna random roll location, but anywhere except ice sheet, because I don't think the uh, tribes will survive on ice sheet and maybe even tundra. So anywhere a bit warmer, just for those guys to really help them out with the build. Okay, so we have forest, large hills. I usually prefer mountain, but we'll go with large hills because random roll gives us random roll. Temperatures are reasonable, they're gonna get hit by heat waves and stuff. Uh, but there we go marble, granite, sandstone, first of spring to the 11th of fall. We should be alright with that. Next. They randomize our people. Then, and the way I'm doing this. They're all random anyway. But I'm just gonna random roll them all because we can. And there we go. I have no idea what these people are. Can we click it? I have no idea what they are, what their stats are like, but we'll find out when it loads. Always the best way to start. Okay, pause immediately. Start to survey the local land. See where we're gonna sit up. We don't need to worry about uh, geothermal vents because we don't have geothermal power and that'll be a long, long way away. Also, when we do need it, we can always make our own. Um, so somewhere central would be nice. We're sort of checking out any buildings we could just jump into that are relatively close by for early start. It looks like, actually, not so much. Uh, although, we have this. Ooh. Um, you guys, I'm going to give you some initial orders to get you guys started. That'll be just like, equip your weapons. Uh, there we go, there we go, and then Pilar. Thank you. Okay, weapon stats, please. Uh, character shooting five, one, seven, nine. So nine is my best shooter. Can you have a bow? I like the bows on my uh, good shooters. So there's a seven. You get the other bow. Then we have the five. You can get the peel out, which is a throwing device. And you get the spear. And you get the you're not, you're the nine. Is that everybody? I've got more weapons than people. Is that right? You! Well, one shooting. Go and pick up the Jade Knife. Everyone should be armed after that. Let's check that. Armed, 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 armed. Everybody's armed, even though we have a wooden club right there that is fine. Uh, I don't really like having people on melee. I like, I like ranged weapons, so that's good. We have some animals. We have uh, a buddy cat, and a dog, and a Yorkshire Terrier. Now, I'm going to name three colonists straight out of the bat. Um, Rename straight out of the bat, boom. The reason for naming them at the bat is because I want to make sure that Mr. Washing Toad. Oh, wait, I'm getting there. DJ Crumble. And Yoni. I would have put in the full name Yoni, but it just doesn't fit. Even Wash Mr. Washington Tub doesn't quite fit. Uh, the reason for that is that DJ and Mr. Washington both give me their name in the game, and I tried to random roll them in, but I cannot random roll them in with um, with Tribal. They only random roll in with normal stuff. But Yoni's also Yoni and Mr. Washington are both Patreons, so they get in by being a Patreon, so immediately get in there. There you go. Congratulations. We have two spare slots for anybody else who might want to be in on the game. But to let us know, and I'm going to do it. First of all, I'm going to grab you, recruit you, put you there. You, recruit you, put you there. And you know, these safe to open. Okay, an ancient danger. Uh, Liera has drawn there an ancient danger. So in there is dangerous, in here is not, apparently. But what we're going to do then is going to assume it's all one building. And we're going to avoid it until we're stronger. Okay. Based on the map and design, I think if we can move our colony over here, we'd have a pretty decent uh, secure capability. Here we're a bit open. Um, but given the type of AI we're working with and that building there, it might be good to move us to that side. Um, I do like to be there, it looks like nice. Uh, more open map, maybe. Ooh, it's always hard to have to start, have to start. Um, I don't want to be near the water. I don't want to come down here. I don't want to be near this building too much, but I want to be able to defend against it. Um, might, be, might just build here. It's more central. You know what? We'll do that. We'll build over here, nearer the, towards the north. We'll build up here, uh, and then we'll we'll investigate that building later on. 
All right, let's get people started with construction. Give me structures, give me wood walls, because we have plenty of wood around. Um, you think we would have you? Yes, there it is. Plenty of wood around, plus also there's plenty of trees, so I don't have to worry about those. So give me wooden walls, something temporary. Uh, we'll be building something bigger and better in the long run. But give me here a nice room, uh, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. They so got a nice five by five room there. Um, with a kind of like doing corridors and stuff, but I'm doing a little room there. And then another room will go there. Like that. And there's five by five room there. So what we're doing here is I'm setting up some initial sort of door. Uh, there and there. For quick access between the two. This one's going to be a temporary bedroom. This one's going to be a temporary um, workshop area. Uh, let's look at our guys. Well, we've got a lot of setup today, haven't we? Okay, five fight and uh, ones. Patienting will be ones. Bed rest will be one. If Basically, if you're injured, I want you resting. Uh, flicking switches are also ones because there's nothing can go wrong with flicking a switch. Uh, doctors, we have a four, a four, a five, a four, and a two. So if I put you on that, you do not do any because you only two. The fours can sort of learn the way up if needed, but they're going to be high level doctors sort of when I force you to do something. Whereas uh, Yoni will be our uh, primary doctor at a five. Uh, negotiations, put it down to two just so I can get it done quickly. Handling again to two, so we get done quick to five. That's a four, leave it on just you for now. Okay, cooking. Ooh, right. So we have a four, three, four, four, and four. Okay, so we have some fours in here. Uh, since you two actually do have a high level of, of uh, learning ability there, I'm going to put you a lot on there and put you to three so they can do like butchering and stuff if they need to. Uh, I might turn those down. No, make them fours, it can be done when needed. Okay. Hunting. Uh, who has the spears and whatnot? You have a bow. Good. And you have a bow. Okay. Well, I have two guys on this right now. I'm going to put them on twos for hunting. So in the short term, because one of them is going to come off entirely. Uh, construction. Uh, five, four, six, six, four. I'll put you on three. I can get you going. Game same repairs. Uh, growing. Uh, I want to leave you off of growing because I can get these guys growing and then I can put you on to doing the other stuff. Growing will be a three, two, two. Uh, two's on these guys, three's on these so they can do uh, they can do cooking first. Uh, plant cutting, I think everyone should have that at four, uh, three, just get it done. Uh, smithing, tailoring, them not going to be important right now and I'm going to put you onto a two and you onto twos. There we go for them. Research is going to be something that's important, so I'm going to put you on there so at least you guys can do it. Managing is not something we're doing just yet. There we go. The stats are set. We can get everything up and running. Now, let's get the uh, zone set up. This is going to be a stockpile. I misspoke earlier when I said crafting station. I meant stockpile because we're going to have uh, the food and supplies need to be up here. Uh, and also, I said we're going to have beds. So give me furniture. Give me wooden beds. Let's get these beds in place. We have five people. One, two, three, four, and five. And immediately off the bat, five beds. There we go. The sorry, sorry. <laughs> Apparently, you two were just set to stand there and be on guard. Um, I'm also going to flag this area for chopped wood. Uh, starvation. Okay. Which one of you is starving, and why did you why did you even arrive starving? Did you? Sorry, sorry. What are you doing right now? Consuming food. Go. Yes. Go get yourself some food. Eat that food, be healthy DJ. Uh, I don't know why you arrived starving, but uh, I'm not gonna argue it with you. We have herbal medicine. Unfortunately, herbal medicine does go off. Luckily, herbal medicine appears to go off very, very slowly in this uh, version, which is excellent to see. Build me my initial walls. There we go. Build, build, build. Who's the best builder, by the way? I'm getting through the beds. The best builders are six and six. Yoni and Menro, Menro, Menro. Men could you make that bed? And could Yoni make that bed? Go! It's just sort of help focus them on to who's going to do the beds. Go, Yoni, go, go, go! Yo, yo! Are oh, we constructing? Good. So we get those beds made. Manro, could you make that bed? Go! 
Go, 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 go. You gonna eat? What are you doing? You are getting more wood. Good. I want you to work on that. And Minro, I want you to work on... Good. Build, 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 build. And that one. Build, 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 build. And then, hopefully, normal. Good. Awful. Awful. Poor. Well, we got a couple of good beds in the process. It's halfway there. But there we go. Okay, so we are getting everything up and running. We're going to get the roofs up soon. There we go. Give me some roofs, people. Thank you very much. And then we're all inside. We have a squirrel in here that needs to be hunted, though. If someone could get in there and hunt it, it'd be great. Could you go do it? Who's got the uh, big stabby stabby weapon? DJ, go kill a squirrel. Dun, 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 Hi, squirrel. Boop. Come on, DJ. Look, it's helping you. Look. Come on, there we go. Uh, the squirrel just because it was inside, it's just going to cause some problems. If it had been a boomer, it definitely wouldn't have been killed in there. I'd have found a way to get it out. Okay. Let's get some grow zones up and running because grow zones are amazingly useful when you want to survive. Uh, let's set them up down here, just get started. Let's do a 6x6 followed by a 6x6 followed by a 6x6. We have a lot of people to feed, so let's get them fed. We'll start with rice on that end one. We'll have um, rice. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with rice and two potatoes. You know what? As a short term, let's do two rice and one potato in the middle. That should be enough to get people started on that kind of stuff. We'll be good. DJ did get himself a little bit of an injury, so he's gonna be going there and heal for a moment. Right, so farms are coming online. That's good to see. Um, they're all doing that. Uh, we no overall priorities just yet. We have two hunters, which is always fun to have. So we need to start building up our additional stuff. So let's have a look at our production chain. Look at that. We have a fuel stove, which we're going to need. We have an electric stove, which we can't, but that's a mod. But we can't do it because we actually don't have any power generation yet. So even though we have that, we can't use it anyway. Um, so I say we need to start looking at doing some more stuff. Let's get our butcher table up and running, which is going to go like there. It's got one more on that wall, but that will go there. Let's get the walls up, shall we? Uh, structures, walls. So bring this down. Pause it for a second. So we have one, two, three. That's gonna be a bench. Then a door there. And then one, two, three to there. No. So one, two, three. Go across there. Da, 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 da. Put the door. Get the door in place. It makes life easier when you can see where the door's gonna be. So two, and then that one goes there. And then they go across there. Then we have one, two, three bench. One, two, three bench. Bring that one down there. Boom. Look at that. That's gonna be a new kitchen craft, uh, short-term crafting area. Mostly kitchen, I believe. With a stock room there. Uh, foods are a problem. We can't. We don't have any way to preserve them, so we'll end up making this uh, this premisian, which lasts a very long time, but no one likes eating. So we'll do that. Uh, while they're doing that, I'm also going to tell them to get me a butcher table up and running just there, so we can do that, and a fuel stove there, so we can actually get the meats up and running. In fact, I'm going to cancel that one. I'm going to put the fuel stove on the bottom, so we have it there. Uh, I know I could get them to build me a um, campfire. It'd also work, but I kind of want them to do that a bit, uh, a proper, proper stove. There we go. So on here, well, the, sorry, I thought you built that. Gamma. I have animals that are eating my food as well, so I have to be careful of that. All right, so on here, the butcher table, I'm going to say butcher creatures forever and also make kibble until we have 10. 10 should be fine, actually. They'll uh, basically make a very small amount of kibble, but they do require certain things for kibble. Um, kid, oh, kibble, kibble, kibble requires uh, one nutrition ingredient, one nutrition ingredient, which doesn't really help to tell what happens there, but it just requires one meat and one veg. So there we go. And there we go, making that, and then cut that goes to there, and then probably brings it back for something else. Cut the trees, build me that. And here comes the first night. I haven't got any lighting set up, which is my fault. Um, pause for a second. Misc. Uh, no, uh, furniture. I want a torch, please. Just in. Is that torch? Yes. I want a torch there. And a torch there. Please. And we can we get those built pretty quickly. There we go. We have a bit of light in there as well. Uh, the torches do produce a small amount of heat, but uh, nothing over the major. Uh, it is now hour 19 of the day. And we'll let go to the first start of night. And then we'll see how we uh, look. Let me get rid of that tree, by the way. 
It's just going to be in the way all the time, isn't it? But there we go. So we have... Actually, it looks like it's really warm in there, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so that's our situation right now. We have this guy being built by... Uh, need material. What do we need? We need steel. We don't have steel? Wow. Okay, we don't have any steel to cook stuff. Which is not a problem, because our uh, farm haven't come online yet. But uh, we need to go find some steel. We will do that in the next episode when we go on our mining operation over here. Or we could just go over here now and say, start mining. There you go. <laughs> so we have our little base. It's operational. These farms are going to be expanded probably early morning. Expand them out quite substantially. Maybe even move them a little bit because they are a bit close to the base. Uh, but there we go. We are a very small, up and running colony. Uh, kitchen to follow. But so that'll be in the next episode. Until then, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And. I'll see you next time.